Okay, so I hope that helps. Now you know Hashoshi, he's one of those guys that is always in my description of every one of my videos uh, of all the different YouTubers that I watch almost on a daily basis. So you can check him out along with all the other people that I have down there. So let me just finish up with, with this. And that is that if we're talking about Cardano, I've got to talk about stake pools because uh, I just want to talk about my own. So just so you know, DMUs has its own stake pool. And just so you know, we now have two. And the reason that we have two stake pools, and you can find all this information at pooltool.io. Actually, an easier way is in the um, description of every one of my videos. If you just scroll down the Dan Cardano stake pool, there's a link right there. It'll take you to the actual web page. And if you just scroll down to uh, wallets, uh, it, it'll tell you everything you need to know about how to stake with, uh, with DNews. But what I really want to talk about is that two things. Why do, we, why do we now have two stake pools? Well, first of all, it's easy. If you go to pooltool.io uh, and search for DNews, you can see how much are active stakes, the fees and epoch fees, all those things. But also if you scroll over, you can see this thing called lifetime ROS, return on spend. And usually the industry average for Cardano stake pools is between four and 6%. Right now for the first one, we're uh, around 5.35. If so for, we've been up as high as 5.42, and then I think we're down to 5.26, but we're always above average. And the reason is because we use the Microsoft Azure network with uh, Kubernetes, and we are, try to be up as much as humanly possible, 99.9%, .9%, if not 100% uptime, so we don't miss any rewards. On top of that, the reason why we uh, just started last week, the uh, DNews stake pool number two, is because of this. If you go to uh, pool.pm and look for DNews, I'll link that in the description as well, you can see that our saturation point is at 48%. So why would we uh, make a new one? Well, in a couple of weeks, I think uh, in March or so, they're going to uh, set the limit for the maximum to around 32 million, 31 and a half million, somewhere around there. So we wanna get ahead of this because if you stake to a saturated pool, something like this will happen. And let me blow this up. When you have too much saturation, you will everybody who's delegated that pool will lose rewards. So in this case, they are oversaturated 70%. So you're losing 70% reward loss. Before that happens, we need to make sure that we get in front of that. So right now, I, if you want to stake with the uh, uh, DNU stake pool, uh, you can go, uh, first of all, watch that video, which explains how to stake through your Daedalus, Yoroi, or ADA, ADA Lite wallet how to find that stake, that second stake pool, which is pretty easy. You just go to DNews and just find the ones that, that have the very few, uh, uh, least amount of delegates and just delegate to that. And uh, watch the video and we explain exactly why, in my opinion, or our opinion, uh, Cardano staking is uh, vastly superior to Ethereum staking. There are no slashing rewards. You can move in and out anytime that you want to. And it's just a, it's just a really simple process and it's just autom automated. So uh, that is it, that is it for today. So. Um, Actually, no, that's not it, excuse me. There is a couple of things I wanna talk about. I forgot about this. So as far as Cardano goes, um, people talk to me and they say, well, you know, Cardano is gonna be the greatest thing ever. It could be, but you have to look at what's going on right now. There's a website called cryptofees.info. And when we take a look at this, you can see um, all the different crypto projects and what people are actually using right now. So we take a look, Ethereum is the number one. This is as far as fees go, this is where you can see like what is actually being used. So Ethereum is being used massively and people are paying massive fees. Next one is Bitcoin, next one is Uniswap, SushiSwap, Compound, it's a good one to get into. And you can see that the more fees that are added up, the more people are actually using it. So when we take a look at this, we're like, well, shoot, what is, you know, we go all the way down, there's not really much anything that is going on as far as Cardano at 5,916, which is right here. Not too much. So people would just assume that, okay, well, Cardano is never gonna make it because that's just how it is. But I want you to remember one thing. And I'm not here to say anything that uh, one person's gonna win or, or, or one's gonna you know, dominate. I think there's room enough for two, just like we talked about uh, in, that, uh, in the article. But if we take a look here, I just wanna show you internet browsers. And if you're old like me, you can remember these internet browsers, but just as a quick refresher, People always talk about, well, this, it's only going to be uh, Ethereum for a while. Remember Netscape Navigator? Well, that dominated in the 90s, and then all of a sudden, Internet Explorer came around. Again, people don't know because if you're not old, you don't remember this stuff. So then, well, what happened? Well, that would just stay on top, right? And this thing called Firefox came up. And before you knew it, that started to take over. 
Well, not really, but it would take a little bit of time. And then all of a sudden, as time went on, 2005, 2006, and 2007, there's going to be this, this web browser. It's going to start to pop up at some point. <laughs> and it's going to be talking about Google Chrome. But Google Chrome wasn't really much of anything. Then all of a sudden, it took a year, a couple of years, really started to really play a part. Firefox was supposed to be the next one, didn't make it, and then Chrome came in. Why did Chrome come in? Well, it was just better, it was stronger, and it was faster, and it was backed by a lot of different uh, companies and industries that really put their weight behind it. Of course, Google was the biggest uh, uh, player. So when we start to talk about, well, Cardano will never make it because Ethereum is just so up high. True, could be, but as time goes on, we will see who uh, will be the dominating force. Again, I think there's enough room for, for more than one browser. Like right now, I'm using the Brave browser. Some people use Google Chrome and some people use something else. So whatever you want to do. But uh, that is it for today. So if you made it this far, I want to say thanks for watching all the way in. I appreciate it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing because a lot of things we talk about are time sensitive. And that is it for today. So thanks so much. Uh, I'll put uh, two more videos up if you like this one and uh, let YouTube do its magic. That is it. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one.